Hi there, my name is Max Naylor. I'm the artist in residence here at Esmoa this summer. I'm from England, from Bristol in the UK, and I'm a visual artist. It's a difficult question. I like combinations of colours. I had to choose one, maybe turquoise blue, or maybe, I don't know, pale green. Pale green mixed with, with orange. I don't know, there's too many. I like all colours, really. <clears throat> well, my parents are both artists, um, so there was always drawing equipment in the house. Um, there was always loads of stuff to use, so yeah, I started when I was maybe two or three, when I was very young. I kind of think I always knew I was going to be one. I think it's, you know, other kids wanted to do other stuff at school, but I kind of knew that it would be what I wanted to do. So yeah, from very early age, I think. A lot of my work is based in landscape in some way. So I'm often, I'm out in the landscape a lot, I walk a lot, I run a lot, I cycle a lot, so I'm always in the landscape absorbing it. So I, kind of, I, I don't tend to go out sketching that much, I tend to go out and just absorb, you know, visual information and it kind of gets stuck and comes back out at a later date. I kind of think of it as a collaboration between the medium I'm using, myself, and the, and the place I'm doing it in. So it's kind of it's a three-way kind of activity. There's all this stuff's kind of going in and out. It's coming into my brain, going onto the page. You know, it's a sort of collaboration between the three things, I'd say. It kind of comes from the process of making the work itself a lot of the time. Sometimes I might start with an idea, sometimes I might start without an idea and maybe just uh, start doodling and the work kind of makes itself. I feel like I don't, I don't worry too much about that, I just, I just keep making the work and it kind of creates itself in a way. I think the best work I'm making, I'm almost not in control of it, it's just happening and I'm just there doing it, kind of in a sort of state of flow almost. very much. It's a fantastic experience. Um, just three months dedicated to making work, sun shining, it's a beautiful city to explore. Yeah, it's been amazing. Just Draw has been really fun. It's, we've got sort of more and more people coming each week. We've got a big, quite varied group of people now. So yeah, it's going from strength to strength and I think you know, people are getting a lot of stuff out of it. I'm enjoying it. It's going to be good. Um, well, I've, I've done a lot of teaching at the Royal Drawing School to adults and young children, teenagers. And I've got a few exercises that I like to do that I've kind of perfected over the years. So it's a combination of things like that. And then also just kind of looking at what the people in the lesson might be interested in, see if we can adapt it and accommodate it. Or sometimes, yeah, it's the night before or, the, or the, an hour before and I've just come up with something. Sometimes they're the best ones. <laughs> well, it's a kind of continuation of what I've been doing back home, but obviously all the sights and sounds of, of LA have kind of fed into my work. So it's kind of, um, it's a cross between my own stuff that comes from my memory and my, my kind of subconscious mixed with imagery that I've absorbed since I've been here from, from, from the city at large, I suppose. It's a combination of two things put together. I think I had an exhibition in Bristol a couple of years ago and um, a woman had taken her children to see it and she said that the children were really inspired to go home and make crazy landscapes so I think that was, that was a nice thing to be able to do to inspire young kids to get into art. I can't really remember offhand but I think the best piece of advice I would give is just to 
to keep working at it, keep plugging away. I think, you know, being an artist is uh, it's a long game, you know. You can, the longer you, you could be doing it until you, you never would retire necessarily. So, you know, the more you plug away at it, the more you do, the better you're going to get, I would say. That would be some good advice.